I'm not um, using this in any way that goes against Minecraft rules, uh, nor am I going to provide this to anyone who I think will. So, um, yeah, I don't want to mess with Minehut and their rules. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this is all allowed. And if it's not, please contact me if you'll work at Minehut and I'll stop it. But anyway, so this is the Minehut chat. We can see all the, the ad messages, all the messages people send, just everything. And it's really messy if you want to find anything. What you can do with this program is have a number of substrings that we need to be in a message for it to show. So if we just do slash add and then start it, this file here is going to be all of the ads in the current session. And it's going to constantly update every three seconds, I think I set it to. So in, in a moment, we might see another one. Aha! Okay, so it's working. Another one. And then we can see all the, the ad messages, right? Which is nice. And this is basically the premise of it. If you just wanted a, an ad tracker thing for your server, you could just use this and then such. But because of the way it's done, it's actually really easy to see if, say, certain ranks do an ad. Let's say we do slash ad, and they also have to be, let's do VIP. And now every three seconds, these are going to be all the people who do slash ad, but they also have VIP in their message. This does mean if they type it, then it's going to be in there, but we can just add extra checks for that and such. So if we do uh, all the patron ads at the moment in this session, I think it's just Bustic on at the moment. Yeah. So this guy, you can look at the times, you can look at the things he says, and from what I can tell, he he's legit. He's like copying and pasting it, which is allowed. Uh, some others, uh, for example, Subantarctic, I, I have sufficient evidence to say that they are like 98% using a bot uh, with the, the timings and what they say and such. But anyway, that's not important to this video, that'll be another one. Alright, so I'm back with an update to the code, and I've realised that I've, uh, and I've added a feature, okay? So, let's say we want to find people who are telling people to join their server and they're not using ad, right? We could just do slash join. And then let's say I didn't add this feature, this is what would happen. The majority of these messages that contain join somewhere in them will be add, right? Which is really annoying, because that's not what we're trying to find in this situation. This is what we're sort of trying to find. Someone saying to join, but not using slash add. Okay, so let's try and find people who are saying the word join, but also making sure that it's not an add message. So we need it to contain the word join, and that's the only word we're looking for. We also want to make sure that it doesn't have slash add anywhere in it. And we also want to make sure it doesn't have the word joined in it. Because then it will have a join messages in. So now let's run this. And what we should have now is a nice auto-updating list of all the people who have said the word join in their message. Uh, so this guy's just asking. Maybe you could take out the word how if you needed to. But this one just did slash dot join just box. Maybe that's a mistake. I've done that before accidentally. So this could be a mistake. Oh, maybe not. He's said it twice in a row now. See, there we are. That's see, this is quite good actually, because we can we can see people who are likely spamming. See, this guy's not. This guy could have accidentally done it. This guy could have accidentally done it. This guy almost certainly did. This guy didn't. Slash. He did do slash join. This guy said it without doing it. This guy did a dot. Yeah. So anyway, if you've got any ideas for um, uh, applications of this or maybe improvements I could make, please let me know. And thanks for watching.